you would tune in to Daily Top 10 on your favorite entertainment channel as we take you on a ride through the most trending news around the globe. At number 10, Ashake announces release of first song of the year, titled Yoga. Nigerian popular music star Ashake has announced the title of his first song of 2023. Ashake recently took to his Instagram page to announce the great news of him dropping a new song, which revealed the title as Yoga. He posted a snippet of the music video, which contains elements of African spirituality, but yet doesn't divulge a hint of what the song sounds like. Captioning the video, he wrote, and I quote, Yoga, out, 7 p.m., NIG. At number 9, Everton FC announces new manager. Everton Football Club confirms the appointment of Sean Dyke as the new team's manager. Dyke has agreed a two and a half year contract until June 2025 and will take charge for the first time for the Blues Premier League clash against Arsenal at the Goodison Park on Saturday, 4th of February. Former Burnley boss Dyke has been out of work since last April when his highly successful 10 year stint at Toff Moor came to an end. But he is now back in Premier League, tasked with dragging the Toffees away from relegation trouble, signing a deal until 2025. At number 8, Fina airs view on celebrity marriage crash. Reality TV star Fina has stated her views on why the marriages of many Nigerian celebrities fail. She was recently interviewed on a TV station and also discussed the difficulties that her peers face while attempting to break into the spotlight. Fina was asked about celebrity marriage woes. She blamed those who take the celebrity too seriously. An entertainer marrying another entertainer is nice because they both understand what they are doing. They both understand the business. So when I tell you I'm busy, you did understand. But a non-entertainer doesn't, she said. Fina also said only they know what's there to fake. Even fake life is now more expensive. The money you would spend on living the fake life, you can live a decent life and real life from it. So faking it till you make it is really nonsense. At number 7, Burn a Boy reacts as Gigi LeMayne professes love to him. A South African artist Gigi LeMayne has disclosed that she is deeply in love with the Grammy Award winner Burn a Boy. The rapper cries out, despite how she feels deeply about him, Burn a Boy may never know about her emotions. She wrote and I quote, I am so in love with at Burn a Boy and he may never know. This life thing, yo, but I've reacted by making the list of those who liked her post on Twitter, and this made her happy. Gigi later posted a screenshot of the notification she got when Brother Boy liked the tweet, and she said that she has gotten confirmation that he knows how much she likes him. Hmm, is this a space to watch? We'll find out. At number 6, Bob Risky's XPA announces new religious status. Ivorian social media influencer Oye Kim, the former personal assistant to Nigerian crossdresser Bob Risky, made an announcement during an Instagram live session that she is now born again. Oye Kim has revealed that she has given her life to Christ and wishes people to respect her choice. She says she never claimed to be perfect or a virgin, and the fact that she has decided to turn a new leaf should earn her praises, not criticisms. The young lady said she is the only person who knows what she experienced that made her decide to accept Jesus Christ into her life. Hmm, all the best, girl. At number 5, Nangi dragged over OCD claim. Nigerian reality TV star Rebecca Nangi Hampson, simply known as Nangi, stills reaction following the revelation that she suffers from obsessive compulsive disorder. Many Nigerians who saw Nangi on the reality TV show dragged her after she tweeted, My OCD got me cleaning my kitchen at 3 a.m., shaking my head. They noted that Nangi was uninterested in cleaning the house during a stay on a reality show and never bothered about when the house was dirty. One Lily replied Nangi, writing and I quote, We didn't see this OCD part of you in BBN though, or is it a recent development, a certain Vivian wrote and I quote, If you had OCD, the aversion to death kind, you wouldn't have left your kitchen in an untidy state after use. You would have been cleaning up in the process of use. Perhaps you think it's some fanciful term. 
at number four. Chelsea adopts new strategy. UEFA's attempt to close the financial fair play loophole that allowed Chelsea to game the system has in fact given the club another advantage over their rivals. That is the view of finance guru Kieran Maguire speaking exclusively to Football Insider about a strategy behind the Blues' big spending exploits in the transfer market. Chelsea have already spent close to £400 million since Todd Bowley bought the club last May, and it is widely reported that they have now lodged a €105 million Euros bid for Benfica and Argentine midfielder Enzo Fernandez. Chelsea have handed ultra long term contracts to the new stars with the transfer fees amortized over those time frames and thereby offset under the terms of FFP. At number 3, Inyaya speaks on viral video. Nigerian music star Inyaya spoke on the footage posted on Twitter by at Miss Pretty Rebel, which showed how Inyaya shoved the fan off stage while performing his hit song One Side to excited audience in Oka. Standing next to the musician was a fan who was spraying him mint, which he placed on his face. The fan's action appeared to have triggered Inyaya, who shoved him off the stage before continuing to entertain the audience. Responding, Inyaya wrote and I quote, The guy kept stabbing my face with the money, and I tried to hold his hand, and he continued, First, no matter how much you're spraying, don't slap someone with it. That's disrespectful. At number 2, banks discontinue payments of old Naira notes across the counter. Nigeria's deposit money banks have been directed to discontinue the payment of old 1,500 and 200 Naira notes across the counter. With this directive effective on Monday, January 30, both the new 1,500 and 200 Naira notes to be paid across the counter, according to sources close to the directives at the Bankers Committee meeting. With this development, bank customers are encouraged to use the alternative channels for the transactions, but those who insist on cash withdrawal across the counter will be paid with lower notes like 100 Naira, 50 Naira, 20 20 Naira, 10 Naira, and 5 Naira, while bank customers who insist on the new Naira notes are to use the ATMs. At number 1, Katrina fakes pregnancy to promote new business. Reality TV star Kate Jones, probably known as Katrina, took to her Instagram account on the 24th of January to show off a baby bomb and announced that she was pregnant. However, in a recent post, the entrepreneur revealed that the baby she had been anticipating was her new business, a clothing collection said to be co-owned by her daughter. The recent twist of events has stirred different reactions from friends and fans. And with that, it's a wrap on today's edition of Daily Top 10. For more information and breaking news, kindly follow us on all our social media handles. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now. Oh,